Hello guys and welcome to the brainstorm of the week. Uh, in this week uh, podcast we address the question we asked you uh, in the week 3 of March uh, month. Uh, the question was regarding intercostal nerve at the angle of the rib. It lies between what structures and we gave you various options between uh, the different intercostal muscles uh, between uh, the pleura the posterior intercostal membrane and so on and the answer is that uh, the nerve here lies between the internal intercostal and the innermost intercostal muscle now for us to understand this we need to know what is uh, the origin uh what is the relationship and what are the branches of uh, intercostal nerve and therefore let's have a closer look at the intercostal nerve anatomy uh first thing we need to know is the innermost structure uh, around which the intercostal nerve is essentially wrapped around is the lung and here we are showing two layers of the pleura uh, the inner one uh, showed in dotted line being the uh, visceral layer of pleura and the one which is shown in a solid blue is the parietal layer of uh, pleura and outside the lung uh, uh, there are three muscles which are basically the intercostal muscles uh, lying in the intercostal space attached uh, to the um, uh, the under surface uh, of the rib um, and uh, starting from innermost to outermost it constitutes uh the innermost intercostal muscle uh followed by the internal intercostal muscle and followed by the external intercostal muscle and the intercostal nerve for most of its length uh lies between innermost intercostal muscle and the internal intercostal muscle next what we also need to know is uh the origin of the intercostal nerve and the intercostal nerve basically originates as a continuation of the spinal segmental nerve which emerges from the intervertebral foramina uh now as this nerve uh, emerges it comes into uh, the paravertebral space which essentially constitutes a bit of fat as well uh and here immediately next to the vertebra it lies between the fat and the parietal pleura um as it comes through the paravertebral space it divides into a dorsal branch and a ventral branch the ventral ramus then basically continues in the intercostal space as the main intercostal nerve um and this is what we need to know uh, about the intercostal nerve uh so here pointing out to the spinal segmental nerve uh which uh comes through the intervertebral foramen uh and enters the paravertebral space and then immediately as it enters the paravertebral space uh it divides into its two main branches the dorsal branch and the ventral branch so here the dorsal branch uh is marked as 1 and the ventral branch or the ventral ramus is marked as 2 and essentially the ventral uh, ramus then continues as the intercostal nerve which is marked here as number 3 and it's important to recognize that the intercostal nerve here at the angle of the rib here lies between the uh, internal and the uh, innermost intercostal muscle in the main intercostal space it gives a small collateral branch as it goes along at the mid axillary line it gives a lateral branch which uh and the main part of the uh intercostal continues forward to give an anterior branch as well let's have a closer look at the relationship of the intercostal nerve uh right next to the vertebra in the paravertebral space medial to the angle of the rib and at the angle of the rib to understand uh what structures uh, uh it crosses and so on now here we have shown the three intercostal uh muscles in relation to to the lung that lies anteromedially to it vertebra that lies uh, uh posteromedial to it um and next to the vertebra 
is the paravertebral space that essentially constitutes a bit of fat and at this point of time uh, the spinal segmental nerve essentially emerges and divides into its dorsal and the ventral uh, branch. There is a posterior intercostal membrane uh, that extends from the internal intercostal muscle attaching itself uh, to the transverse process uh, and as the intercostal nerve uh, sorry the spinal segmental nerve traverses laterally it comes to lie between the posterior intercostal membrane and the parietal pleura. So here is the spinal segmental nerve which divides into a dorsal branch and a ventral branch or a ventral ramus which continues forward as the intercostal nerve giving its uh, different branches as shown here. And essentially we need to know relationships of the intercostal nerve in three areas labeled here as 1, 2 and 3. And this dotted line here represents uh, the angle of the rib. So in the area 1 which is in the paravertebral space the nerve lies between the parietal pleura and the fat contained within paravertebral space. Medial to the angle of the rib it lies between posterior intercostal membrane and the parietal pleura and at the angle of the rib it essentially lies between the innermost intercostal muscle and the uh, internal intercostal muscle. So that's it folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, week of quiz. Uh, and if you liked it, then kindly share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. You can also subscribe to our newsletter and you can also subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel at HermansMB29. Thank you so much. This has been a presentation of regionalfortrainees.com.